up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mont to Fame. Standing here with my boy Nels. He got the sick, sick white Bentley. But uh, this is definitely not his only toy, but he bought this out for us to show to you guys. But uh, this guy's been in the game a long time, but I'm going to let y'all tell him all about it. Nels, man, tell him about the Bent Dog, what you did to it. I did not know much suspension, wheels. That's really it. Car overall is just clean. Keep it clean. Yeah, just keep it clean. Now, I know you you also working on some other projects. Mm -hmm. You said you, uh, I know you, tell, tell us about the Lightning. I saw pictures of that, and that looks crazy. Oh, I had a Lightning, yeah. I did some wheel suspension, 94, uh, first generation Lightning. Original? Original, yeah. Okay. 55,000 miles clean truck. Nice, nice. What else you working on, man? Talk to us. You want to let it out the bag, or you want to hold it? Nah, nah, I keep that secret. Okay, okay, when it drop, it drop. The reason why I wanted to, 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 to meet with you, man, and you know, talk about the car a little bit, not even so much about this car, um, I know your history. I know how long you've been in this car game in New York, killing it, but I need you to tell us a little bit about. So take me through some of your most favorite cars over the last 10 years. Over the last 10 years, I've had all kinds of cars. I just, I just have a passion for cars. It doesn't even matter what kind of car it is. I can take any car, design it, make it look however I want to look. Right, I don't right. have just one specific favorite car. I just have the eye, whatever I like, I just buy it and okay, do what okay. I do. But I know like you've shown me pictures of other cars like over the course of the years. I've seen some of the ones you did. Like you had like an old school, what was that, oh, an S class a, no, that you had? The, the brown Mercedes, oh, what was the 280 that? scene. 1970 on air, on fully air. factory, yeah. crazy. My cars, that was my, more recent though. Yeah, my passion is more old cars. I've had a lot of old cars, Chevys. I'm a Chevy boy. Lincoln Continental, Suicide Doors. I built probably the nicest one in New York. Right. 1967, fully done, air ride, right. interior, right. the whole works. Like yeah. I built like, and back in 09, my Mitsuan, a few guys, Speed World, you know, Gennaro, Cash, you know, the air ride. Bunch of different people, you know? Right, right, right. That's exactly. really it. The, didn't you have like some monster, crazy Impala, like a 96? Oh, I had five of those. <laughs> that green one, though. Oh, the green one, yeah. I bought that car like that, though. That one wasn't built by me. Okay. I've had other ones. I had burgundy ones, black ones. The green one, I just bought it. Okay. And okay. I was just got, at that moment, I was kind of tired of buying cars, and I just liked it, that one and bought it down south and brought it out to the East Coast. What about that, the Black Grand National? That was another one. I bought it. It had wheels and stuff, but I switched it up with some Ashanti's, did some little body work on it, you know, tricked it out my way. But I ended up selling that car down to the West Coast. Yo, y'all hear how this dude is simplifying it. Trust me, it's not that simple. He makes it seem easy, but I mean, I remember walking up to that Grand National and seeing the lip sizes and the wheels was like, crazy right there by the fender that's the you redid those right you yeah you specced it out everything mm -hmm. what were those 20 22s 22s by 11 and a half in the back five inch lip and 22s by nine in the front with a three inch lip crazy not not to mention that i mean even besides him man he rolled with dudes that got cars upon cars hopefully we get a chance to film more of them and, and talk more about it man but where does your passion for cars come from as a kid, I grew up, my grandfather, I was always with my grandfather. My grandfather's always been into cars. Mm -hmm. He's the originator of the car game. And as a kid, I was just always into cars, never into video games, sitting around home doing all that boring stuff. I was always working on cars with my grandfather and just always had an eye for it. Right, I had right. an uncle growing up. He always had the nice cars and I used to look up to him with the old school cars and I just ran with it. Been doing it for 20 some years. So for all of you that's pretty new to the game and stuff like that, there's people like this that's been around for a long time. Y'all just figuring out how to do wheels and how to do air and all that kind of stuff where these dudes been doing that stuff on old schools for years upon years. And now they chilling, you know? They just, they just laid back, sitting big body. But uh, I'm looking forward to uh, some of the projects that you're working on. But tell me about a car that, you know, the car that you haven't done yet that you would love to do. 57 Bel Air. You never did one of those before? Never. I'm gonna do one, but I just that's one of those that's gonna stay forever. So once you get it, once I get it, I'll, I'll keep that forever. What would you do to a '57 Bel Air? Engine swap immediately. LS, LS2. Nice. Rear suspension, mm -hmm. big brakes. Yeah. Tub the rear, like 22s by like 15s in the back. <laughs> Intros, 22s by nine in the front. You know, just do it up nice. But it's just time consuming and expensive. 
That car is very expensive. Exactly. That and a 68 Charger. Right, right, right. Right, right. One of your things that I know you into as well is like paint. I've seen some of the work that you've done like uh, with your body shop. Um, You've done like some crazy cars and colors. But one of my most favorite things was that red T-Rex. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the T-Rex, man. What did you do that? Initially, my brother wanted to get a T-Rex. So... Like, I didn't really want to cash out on no T-Rex, so we kind of went half and half on the T-Rex. Mm-hmm. We bought it, it was like a watermelon green, orange stickers, I didn't like it. So right. when we got the bike to the shop, we tried to keep it stock, but we switched it up, painted it Ferrari red, took it all apart, ordered some MHT wheels, you know, custom. Then I had in-track tires, powder coat the wheels. Right. We did the audio system. You know, kind of tricked it out to our specs and our, our taste. Right, right. That's really it. Speaking of Intrac, a car that I forgot about that you have is that M. The, yeah, the M37. M37. Yeah, X. And what is done to that? Because that one looks crazy, too. That one right now, I've switched the wheels like f- seven times. Right now, it's got a pair of <laughs> VIP modular wheels. Right. 22s by 11 and a half with a high offset that came off of a, a Charger type right. style. So I had to put camber arms, one piece suspension, mm-hmm. mess with the quarter panels a little bit, you know, just do little mods just to make it look right. I walked in to Intrac and I was like, damn, yo, whose car is that? They was like, it's Delta's. I'm like, of course, of yeah. course, that makes sense. But yeah, man, one thing I, I, I want to say, man, is uh, a lot of times, and this is in every game, this is not just in the car game, but in a music game, in the, in the basketball game, one thing I notice is that these young dudes do not pay homage to the people who paved the way. The cars that they was looking at when they was little like- kids, how you feel no, about No disrespect that? to nobody, but people got the car game all messed up. Tell you know, me like, about it, bro. Preach. Like, Preach. When you, me, I like to build my cars. I like to customize. I've bought a few cars done, you know, like already done, but I meant to customize the cars. People think that you slap a pair of rims on a finance car. No disrespect to anybody, but you bust slap finance a pair of car, wheels and you do a little suspension. You think that the car is already done. Nah, right. I like to build them. Like, that's why I like the old cars. That's the passion. Interiors, paint. Right. Suspension, right. wheels, you know, do the whole shebang. Like, right. hey, anybody knows I've built a lot of dope cars. And why I stopped building a lot of old cars in New York is the game is getting messed up. It's not fun no more. Everything's like a competition now. These guys are building these old cars. They want to buy a car. They want to be in the game, but they don't want to spend no money. Right. You know, like, and a, right. big, a big factor to me, no disrespect to nobody, is wheels. Like, you just, you, you put wheels according to the vehicle. You're not gonna go and slap, buy an old car that's worth $30,000 or $20,000 and put a pair of $1,500 wheels. Right. Like, I'm gonna get me wrong, I buy cheap wheels for the right, cheap car, cheap wheels, but you got an old school, you gotta do them right. Like, you gotta put the right wheels, the right stuff, and that's how you get your big, you know, your big bucks and the car looks right. So in other words- The game is messed up, man. They got a lot of these old cars. Like, I understand people, you're trying to build a car and some people can't afford it, which is cool, but don't try to go hard talking about, you guys are gonna shut the game down, do this, do this, do that. When I've been building old school since 2005. Right. They bringing them out now, they popular. Don't get me wrong, those are my peoples, but I've been building them since 2005. No disrespect, I had 24s and airbags and paint jobs and wheels and suspension and music since 2005. Why about and they're coming out. They're coming out now. And not that I'm trying to diss nobody, but it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Behind scared, they didn't want to come at you. Like, oh, we coming at you. You coming at me? Like, hands down. And I'm saying it on camera. The hottest old school in New York City, not because it was mine, was my black '67 convertible. There's no car touching it in New York. I don't care what you got. And they don't like when I say I voice my opinion because I got a big mouth. But I, I backed it up with the car. So. You know, people can have opinions, whatever. Sure, you know, like there's certain different different kind of old schools. There's different levels. It's just like when it comes to a car, like you can't compare a Porsche to a Honda. Right. Not that I'm granting the Honda because I've had Hondas. I've had all kinds of cars, but you just can't be like, you know, there's certain, there's levels to everything, you know? Right, right. You gotta do things, you do it your way. Not that I'm mad because I'm a car lover. I like everything. I drive a Honda. I own Chevys. I own everything. I don't care. Right. Car's a car. That's basically it. My man, brother, Thank you, you just preached to him. Thank you so much. Listen, man, y'all check out my man, Nelson. Uh, his gram is private, but uh, I'll drop a link in the bio where you can check out a little bit more about him, maybe some of his other cars. I'll try to get as many pictures of you, as uh, of those cars as possible, and I'll put them in, in like a Flickr or something for you guys to take a look at, to, to look at this man's history, check the resume. It's real. Car dudes is in New York, too. Mod to fame, we out. Ha <laughs> ha!